back to the channel guys click like subscribe for more content and more ways to make money online okay uh, we're going to just keep finishing the basics of our forex and today's lesson we're going to talk about rsi which is relative strength index and what does what is that that is actually this line back down here so what does that do okay the strength index goes from zero to 100 depending on where it's bought and where it's sold typically it will be between 30 and 70 okay 30 and 70 so if you have 30 and 70 up that's 100 it's typically in the middle of that and what does this do it's going to tell us when to enter certain trades and when is the stuff is overbought versus where it's oversold or if the market is stagnant now on this rsi the market seems to be stagnant besides a little overbought here and here now when do you determine when something is overbought the closer it is to 70 okay so if you see these peaks and these spikes so the closer it goes up 70 that means it's overbought okay and when do you want to take those trades you want to take those trades <clears throat> right after the market has overbought the certain currency or a certain product so as you can see here it's overbought here so when do you want to take the trade you want to take the trade as soon as it hits the bollinger band here and you want to to put a sell trade and as you can see it goes down here you got a couple candles so you can make a couple couple of good trades on like one or two or three good trades now when does it go right here is where it starts to undersell and when it undersells you want to take it on the uptrend okay so you want to remember where to talk about uptrends you want to take it back on the uptrend and as you can see, you would have bought this. You would have had, a, no matter how, how the candle looks, red or blue, you would have still made money. Okay? Uh, so that's basically basically what happens with this one. Okay, let's uh, check some a different one here. Let's check this one. Okay, so we don't have one. So how do you put one on your chart? Okay, we'll just go to our insert button. If you use the MetaTrader 4, you go insert, you go indicator, it's a custom indicator, and you want to go all the way down here. Okay, it's going to say what time frame you want to put it on. You can change the color if you like. I like to keep it blue. Uh, common, you don't need to do anything with that. Visualization, you know, if you want to just keep it on a certain time thing, time frame, you can keep it on a certain time frame. Okay. All right, as you can see, this market, as you can see what time it is, this is Friday. Um, it's closer to the end of the day, so the market is starting to stagnate out. But as you can see, there were some overbought here. Um, it came, it looks like it came all the way from a undersell to overbought a little bit, then then it flattened out, and then it started going back up. But this is where it's overbought. And as you can see, when it overbuys, the next couple candles it'll undersell. Uh, same with here. As you can see, it was undersold. It's almost less than thirty. Let's get line those up. Let's let's put those a line there where thirty is. See, it's basically at thirty-eight, which is close. Um, you can see that, and then it it, it starts that uptrend. At this candle here and goes up 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 and then it, it marks back out if you take your, your line here it's close it's between the middle so uh when it comes to stuff like that where it's in the middle where it can go up up and down then you will use your bollinger bands okay um as you can see, if we can zoom out, actually, zoom out too far. Okay, right here. Okay, as you can see, that is creating a squeeze. 
and we're going to talk about more about squeezes. I, th- I th- we talked about it in the Bollinger Bands as far as squeezes, and then it breaks out into an uptrend. So this is this indicator is just an extra indicator, just an extra proof, uh, a layer of confidence that it gives you. Uh, so if you combine the Bollinger Bands plus this strategy, you should be able to get some fairly decent trades. Now you know it's not going to be a hundred percent, okay? Uh, just just because that's the way the market works. It's not going to be one hundred percent. So none of this stuff, guys, is. I'm explaining to you is 100% accurate, but it is pretty accurate, but it's not 100% accurate. So we want to keep that in mind when you start your trade journey. That none of this is going to be 100% accurate. So you don't want to over overdo it as far as your money and your your trading uh, goals. But again, this this is uh oh. Let me explain what this number is right here. So right now. This is the number where the the market is. So, as like I said, it's closer to seventy. So you can tell the market is pretty much overbought, and then it's hitting these Bollinger bands where it's going to start to retrace and re come back down. Okay. So what I would do here, I would have took the trade here as soon as it hits that Bollinger band. I would have took a trade. Well, actually, let's take a trade. Like a, let's take a small trade here. Um, what I want to do on this one. We're gonna do here. Take a small trade here. We're gonna sell that market. You don't want to do it actually in the middle of it, but that's another thing. Don't do it in the middle of a candle. But if it was right there at the start, uh, we would have reach. We would have took the sale. Um, and according to our, it was overbought here. So it's closer to seventy. It's overbought. It would. It starts coming down. Okay. Um, if there's any questions about it or if you have anything to add, uh, just comment at the bottom. Click like, subscribe. We're also ha- uh, promoting a signal service. We'll leave that with a hyperlink at the bottom. We'll see you next time in the next uh, video where we're going to start talking about uh, Fibonacci and different uh, other indicators that might be helpful to our strategy. Then we're going to actually start into our strategy. And then we're going to actually start live trading. Okay? Uh, click like, subscribe. See you next time.